Hi everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. I am making a Halloween soap tonight, which I never do, but one of my shows that I have in October, the end of October, is two days before Halloween. It's a Friday and Saturday right before Halloween. So I figured I would do something, a little Halloween, and not just, you know, pumpkin or fall. And so I had a mold that makes uh, these little round grab one. The, this kind of size, so I did some white melt and pour, added a little bit of Snow White um, mica to it just so it had a little bit of shimmer I guess. And then I used some mica and I painted the eyeballs and then it's supposed to look bloodshot whether it does or not I don't know. My daughter said it gave the right idea. So I did blue, green, brown, and she wanted me to do red with black so it looks bloodshot. So those are, are going to go on the top and I'm going to, my main color is going to be green, uh, green apple mica and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of groovy green because I want kind of a bright fun green. And then I'm going to do a tiny bit of purple and a tiny bit of black and then some white. So let me grab the groovy green. I almost forgot it. I seem like I always forget groovy green. I don't know. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I haven't used this kind of bowl in a while. So forget what I'm doing. to put this one in here because this is going to be my white. I might add a little more to that. Let me see. This is going to be my purple. And then just a tiny bit of black. And then this will be green. So I think I'll add a little bit more white just for some contrast. All right, I'm gonna add my colors. Let's see, this is gonna be white. Oh, my fragrance is called, I almost forgot, it's called, um, it is called, oh goodness, Mystic orange bloodstone I think. Um, it's kind of an orangey fragrance. I had f completely forgot, um, well when I went up to find, look at my fragrances to figure out what I wanted to use, um, I had forgotten I had that one and I had gotten it a while back to use if I made a Halloween soap. So, And I don't know why, it just kind of made me think of Halloween. So. It's really nice. I've never used it before. It's from Nature's Garden and I actually had gotten a, you know how they send you the little rose in your order so you can smell other fragrances? It was in one of my orders so that's how I ended up getting it.
these eyeballs. I don't know. I hope you can tell that that's what they are. If I put them up like that... I don't know. You won't really see them. I don't know. I'm hoping to fit eight, so these bars are going to be a little bit chunkier than five, six. That one's huge. Oh, I'm covering my brown eye. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I cannot believe I just said that. Maybe no one picked up on that. to cut the Halloween soap that I made and I completely screwed up when I was cutting it into logs. I cut the wrong end. This end, I'm, I'm loving the swirls, but this end was supposed to be like the little end that I just get this little piece from and I was going to have, you know, a few with the eyeballs. And this was, the rest of this was supposed to be on the middle layer and I cut this end first. So I totally screwed it up. So now, this is the little part, which, you know what, I think, I'm trying to think positively that this will be cute for just tiny little bars for little kids, you know, and just not charge as much. And then these, the other end, is a little bit bigger. Now, I just screwed up the way I cut the rainbow sherbet soap as well. I cut it the wrong way, so the swirls aren't how they're supposed to be, and... Oh my gosh, I don't know how I did that with both of them today. I think of my mojo. I don't have any kind of mojo going on today. But I'm loving the green. And I think the eyeball's cute. But I can't believe I did that. Two low, or two whole soaps. I messed up the cut. I really honestly don't know how I did that. I think I just have too much going on in my mind at the same time. But I do love all the colors and stuff. I think they're really pretty. So I will just have some little tiny bars for little tiny hands. Sorry, Mackenzie's talking in the background. She is looking at cars online. Our dinner discussion was her getting a car. And she's working, and she's been working. Um, and she's saving up some money. This is going to cut a little bit of the eyeball. She's saving up some money to have a down payment or to just buy a car outright. We'll wait and see how much she saves. So she's all into looking online at different cars. I said to my husband, I am not ready for this. 
<gasps> the lights just flickered. I don't know if you guys could see it. We've got the Tropical Storm. Hermine that's supposed to be going through tonight. We've had a ton of rain already. So let's see what these little bars look like. I cannot believe I did that. They look kind of like a little sample bar and I just cut part of the eyeball off. Oh boy. What have I done? I should just take the eyeballs out completely and just have the soap. Because, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the eyeballs. Oh, the lights just flickered again. I'm not afraid of lights going out or anything like that. But I don't like thunder. Because the thunder here is so scary. It's so loud. And it rumbles and you can feel it shake the ground. Boy, this loaf, it's not even cut straight. It's like, wonk. Oh my goodness. I was going to make soap tonight, but I think I won't. I think I will skip it. And I have sh a bunch of shipping to do. So I might do that. But I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. So I'll just figure it out in a minute. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you on the next video.